According to latest media reports, India has successfully tested the 3,500 km strike range nuclear capable K 4 submarine launched ballistic system. Top officials have said that one more test will be conducted before it is ready for deployment on the indigenous Eri Hunt class of nuclear submarines. The RDO is also working on 5,000 km range K 5 system and 8,000 km range K-6 intercontinental submarine launched ballistic system with MIRF capability. In a major development, India has conducted the ground test of the first pre-prototype of its unmanned combat aircraft, and the RDO is expected to conduct the first flight of the 15-ton stealth unmanned combat aircraft in the next two years. India has also started work on the development of four dry derivatives of the cavalry engine, with a thrust of 50 kN for powering the platform. The DRDO will also test a technology demonstrator called Stealth Wing Flying Test Bed in 2020, that will be powered by a Saturn turbofan engine, and the collected data will be used to carry out further design improvements. A top defense planner has stated that the squadron strength of the Indian Air Force will gradually rise in the coming months. The 222 squadron has been resurrected with Su-30 fighter jets, a second squadron of Tejas Mark I fighter jets will be raised in April, and a third squadron will be raised with the upcoming Rafil fighter jets, which will achieve full strength by March 2021. The Indian Air Force is also processing an additional order for 12 more Su-30 fighters, a squadron of MiG-29 fighter jets from Russia, four squadrons of Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets to be signed in February, along with 114 fighter jets under MMRCA tender. Royal Navy Chief Admiral Tony Radakin has laid particular emphasis on collaborations with India, as both the countries are working on aircraft carriers next generation fighter jets and integrated electric propulsion, and have said that this partnership will open up opportunities with directed energy systems in the future. He also said that India and UK should be looking to converge and come together, as it is strategically sensible for both the countries. India will request the Trump administration to share the findings of the investigation that recently found an illegal proliferation network that smuggled sensitive equipment and technologies from the United States for the nuclear program in Pakistan, as it poses a grave security challenge for the entire region. Five people had been indicted for running an international procurement network of front companies to smuggle sensitive high-tech American equipment and technologies to Pakistan. Thank <laughs> you.